Paul compares the Christian life to the life of an athlete. And he says, every athlete is self-controlled in everything he does. And Christians have got to be equally self-controlled if they're going to win the gold medal. That's my paraphrased version of 1 Corinthians 9 at the end. I don't want to turn there. Where there is no vision, people cast off restraint. I apply this and I, I just ask you all to sit on your hands right now. Don't, don't give yourself away. But how many of you, remember you're sitting on your hands, how many of you have tried to diet at least once and lose weight? <laughs> how many of you have succeeded? How many of you have tried twice? Well, anyhow, let's not go into it. You know, the, the essence of successful dieting is vision. You see yourself the way you think you ought to look. And when that, what was it I ate today? What is that? Pavlova, when that pavlova is put in front of you, you see your waistline. And you say, no pavlova for me. Now, they're laughing at me because I ate two portions, but... But on the other hand, by the grace of God, I've succeeded. I'm indulging myself a little at the moment, but it takes vision. And it's the same, you see. If we're to be successful in reaping the harvest, we have to have a vision of the harvest. And really, my purpose tonight is to give you, impart to you, a vision. That you go out of here saying, well, if it demands sacrifice, if it demands sleepless nights, if it demands giving up my job, if it demands going to some barren, God-forsaken part of the earth, I've seen the vision. The vision is in front of my eyes.